8 must play open world zombie games. Dead Island is an open world game that stands apart from other titles in the genre because of its heavy focus on melee combat and its very different backdrop. The plot centers on four playable survivors trying to escape the fictional island of Benoit, with plenty of dark humor along the way. The title throws you into a very unconventional yet immersive tropical, zombie-infested environment. At its core, Dead Island is a true zombie game. Sadly, it was a bit broken when it was first released, and didn't receive the recognition it deserved. However, it's often on sale these days, and there can't be a better time to try it out. <laughs> Gamers all around the world know Yakuza for its series of action brawler games that go all out with its sequences. However, Yakuza Dead Souls is that one title that has been rather forgotten today. It was released more than a decade ago and has certain broken mechanics that most gamers find annoying and unbearable. Additionally, the game's a spin-off and non-canon, and is probably not something everybody who isn't a fan of the series would enjoy. Despite these issues, the game's story, script, and sense of humor stand out, making up for the broken mechanics for its fans. In Dead Souls you take on the role of Kazuma, who along with his friends, must fight back against zombies to win independence for his beloved Kamurocho once again. It's an absurd premise, even for a Yakuza game but it works for some reason. For those who thrive on challenging gameplay with a fairly steep learning curve, Seven Days to Die is the perfect zombie game to get your hands on. The game follows a post-apocalyptic world devastated by a nuclear world war, leaving it a wasteland that is overrun by the undead. Set in the fictional county of Navasgain, Arizona, survivors must progress through the harsh and unforgiving landscape while struggling against hunger, thirst, and relentless zombie hordes. Because the game tries to simulate the life of a survivor in a fictional zombie apocalypse, certain stakes in the gameplay are as high as they would be in a real cataclysmic event. In order to really thrive in the harsh backdrop, you have to be constantly prepared. You need to somehow have sustenance with you consistently like food, water, and shelter. There's a day and night cycle in the game that gives players a bit more of a tangible window to be able to prepare properly. Days Gone Again follows the typical zombie apocalypse story, a mysterious virus emerging mysteriously turning half the population into zombies, and two years later, the remaining survivors fight for freedom and survival. On this opportunity you follow a former outlaw turned drifter Deacon Saint, John after he discovers that his presumed dead wife Sarah may still be alive. Interestingly, Days Gone was Ben Studio's first try into the open world genre. Their work and year-long effort towards the game truly paid off, making it one of the standout titles in the open world zombie genre. The graphics and visuals in Days Gone are undoubtedly among the most stunning you can find in a title of its kind. However, some players have raised concerns about its mission designs and technical issues. Released in the summer of 2015, Zombie debuted as an exclusive Wii U game. Despite the significant attention and hype it received, its exclusivity to the Wii U proved to be its biggest drawback. Although the game was eventually released on last-gen systems, it couldn't make a significant impact due to its late arrival. Overlooking its exclusivity for Wii U, Zombie offers a considerably unique horror experience. The game's central theme of a zombie-infested London, where players must navigate as a nameless character, makes up for some very good time. There's a permadeath feature that is essentially added to mimic the sentiments of a real survivor in a real-life zombie apocalypse to increase the stakes. <laughs> Dying Light 2 is a 2022 action RPG that acts as a sequel to Techland's previous horror survival hit, Dying Light. It offers an exhilarating blend of parkour and intense zombie slaying combined with a vast open-world city that's on the brink of collapse. Players assume the role of Aiden Caldwell, a lively wanderer with a mysterious past, who ventures into the city to uncover the truth and find his lost sister. Overall, the game has been a big hit. The stunning graphics, fast, fluid combat, and unique survival elements combined with an engaging plot provide an enjoyable experience for fans. There can't be a Gen Z soul alive who hasn't heard of Red Dead Redemption. Likewise, one of its standalone expansion packs, the Undead Nightmare, launched in 2010 with a completely unrelated premise, stands as one of the best DLC expansions ever released for a video game. In Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, you assume the role of John Marston, the main game's protagonist and a former outlaw who is now trying to turn a new tide and live comfortably with his family. Things take a funny turn when his wife turns into a zombie through a virus that was supposedly unleashed by some of his former gang members. He, now, has to not only locate those responsible for an antidote but has to do so amidst a zombie outbreak. Project Zomboid is an isometric open-world game that stands out as one of the best zombie survival experiences and no zombie game list is complete without it. Despite its isometric graphics, it features highly creative gameplay, difficulty modes, and customizations that keep you fully immersed. Your character finds themselves in the heart of a grim and unforgiving zombie apocalypse, 
set in the fictional towns of Muldroff and West Point, Kentucky. Unlike other zombie games, Project Zomboid takes challenging survival to the next level. With a deep emphasis on realism and detail, you must manage your character's emotional well-being alongside their physical health. The game's open-ended nature means every choice you make shapes your unique story, and each decision can mean the difference between life and death. 